Afloat with Henry Morgan. Jeffrey Hunter, masquerading as a Dutch gem merchant, together with Hero, lands on the Cuban coast to discover for Henry Morgan the movements of a Spanish fleet. Not knowing Dolores' true identity, he has no idea that she, together with Diaz and Kitty, is in Havana. Boldly, Jeffrey goes to the governor, Don Pietro, hoping to bluff him into giving the information. But Dolores sees him and exposes him as Morgan's spy. He is cruelly tortured by Diaz to make him reveal his mission. But Jeffrey refuses to talk until they threaten to torture Kitty. Then he gives them misleading information. Jeffrey and Kitty are taken to the slave market to be sold on the following day. They are put into the same cell as Antoinette de Lacy. As Hero is still free, Jeffrey has faint hope that he might be able to help them. Next morning, Hero visits the market. When the sale begins, the compound becomes empty, except for Hero. Cautiously, Jeffrey talks to him through the iron bars of the cell. That's Jeffrey. You say I can rescue you. What can I do? Just a poor nigger? Just carry out the instructions that I give you. It's a long chance, but it's the only chance we've got. Oh, Lord, give me strength to carry out this mission. Hurry up, Jeffrey, and tell him what he has to do. I want to hear your plans myself. It's a risk to you, hero. A great risk. If you fail and you're caught, you know what your fate will be. If they take you away from me, Miss Jeffrey, I don't want to do anything. I don't care at all what happens. Just take a good look around the compound, Hero. Are there any guards? Uh, there's a couple of men down the far end there. They're, they're open to sell and taking the people out. Mm. Then the sale has started in earnest. It seems then that they're emptying the cells one by one and selling the occupants that way. Well, that's good. It means that they will open the doors of our cell eventually and we will all go out together. It sure seems like that. Have you been to the market where they actually sell the slaves, Hill? I just had a look at it. It's a great big wooden place. Better and better. Now... We're in the last cell. Therefore, we will be the last to be sold. What can I do to help you? You're locked up here. They'll come and take you out and put you on the block and sell you. And I'll never see you again. There doesn't seem to be anything that I can do for you. You can do everything. The only possible way of escaping is by a confusion being created. And you have to do that, hero. You have to cause a panic. But how? We have no time to argue now. Every moment is precious. Someone might come here and find you. Then everything will be lost. Stand at the entrance where they take the slaves into the block. When you see them open our door and take us out towards the market, you must mingle in the crowd. Are you carrying a flint? I sure am. Then if I can imagine anything about markets, the inside of that market is littered with rubbish. <laughs> it sure am. That's good. Now, as soon as our cell gates are opened, Hero, you must start a fire in the market. You mean set fire to the place? That's what I said. That will create a panic, confusion. And in the confusion, we must get away. When the fire is going... Right back here to the cell. I understand, Miss Jeffrey, but I don't like my chances. I know everything's against us, but it's the only hope we have. Now go away from the cell. Don't come near us again, but just watch. Watch and wait. You're our only chance of escape. Remember that, hero. Remember, three of us are relying upon you. They've taken them from the other cell. It's our turn next. This suspense is killing me. 
If Hero fails, there's no hope for us. It is such a slender chance. We must not think of failure. It doesn't take them long to dispose of the slaves. Only a matter of minutes before they come to get us. But we must make the journey from here to the auction markets as slowly as possible. We must give Hero every chance to succeed. Of course we must, Jeffrey. Because if Hero fails, we all fail. All day I've been cursing my helplessness, my crippled limbs. But now I believe it might be a blessing. In what way? Don't let the guards take me when they come for us. You two girls support me on either side. I'll make that journey last as long as possible with you two girls helping me, the cripple. They are coming. The guards are leaving the market. They are coming this way. Oh, Jeffrey, they are coming for us. Courage, Antoinette. We must not think of failure. And heroes come out from the market. He's standing near the doorway. Yeah. You two girls had better help me to my feet. All right, Jeffrey. Take an arm each. There. Help me. You're right. That's right. Oh, I wonder where my limbs ever go back into place. They won't know what you're talking about, Kitty, but try and make them understand that you two girls will help me to the market. All right. We'll just start walking towards the door and, and see if they interfere. Well, slowly. They are going to let us do it. They are not going to interfere with us. Good. There's no sign of Hero. He's gone back indoors. Well, uh, just keep moving slowly. That will give him plenty of time. We can't travel too slowly, Jeffrey, in case the guards become impatient. Won't they be suspicious if they see us talking together? They possibly think that we are saying our last goodbyes. Jeffrey, look. Over there, towards the marketplace. There's smoke. Listen. Hero has succeeded. Just look at the smoke pouring out of the doorway. The guards are leaving us. They are rushing towards the building. That's just what I hoped and prayed would happen. Let's stop here and watch till Hero comes. He will have learned his way about the marketplace. He will surely know how to get us out of here. The guards have gone into the building. And here comes Hero now. Hero! Hero, hurry! Ask coming, Mr. Jeffrey. Ask coming. Not a big bar started there. Good man. I knew I could rely on you, Hero. Now to get these girls out of this place. I have some more instructions for you, Hero. Oh, yes, Miss Jeffrey. But wait until we get outside before you tell me what to do. I must tell you here. You know when the ship is coming to the island again. You know where she is supposed to land. And you know on what night she arrives. I know all that, Mr. Jeffrey. But that's not for another four days' time yet. Tell me later, Mr. Jeffrey. We have to hurry out of here. You had better hurry, then. I am not going. I'm a cripple. I would prevent your escape if I came. I'm only a burden on your hands. You'd have no chance of getting away. Go up with the girls to the hills and hide. Hide till the ship comes in. Kitty knows the movements of the fleet. She'll tell you and you can tell Captain Barker. We're not going to leave you here, Jeffrey. We, we won't go on without and you. If you won't go, then all is lost. All this is in vain. Don't you see? I'd only impede your escape. I, I can't do anything for myself. I, I can't even walk. Mrs. Jeffrey, I said some times ago that I'd never go away and leave you. And I mean what I said. I know the way to get out of this place. We're going now, and you's coming with us. I give the orders, Hero. Take these two girls and go. I have planned it all from the very beginning. Master Jeffrey, I once carried you up a hill through a tropical storm. I did it once, and I can do it again. While all that noise and fight and fire is going on in there, they're not going to look at us. I'm picking you up in my arms... And I'm carrying you out with me. Come, Delaris. There's no need to tell me. All the town is ringing with the news. The fire in the slave market is nothing. They can rebuild it again. But most of the slaves got away, including the ones we had a special interest in. Yes, I know, I know. You know what I believe, Delaris? I believe that Jeffrey Hunter didn't come to this island alone. I believe that he had with him an accomplice. And it was this accomplice who started the fire. I come to think of it, I, 
I was there to say it didn't begin until the two women and Jeffrey Hunter were to be brought to the auction block. And they must be found, every one of them. I do not want them to escape. <laughs> I wouldn't do any about that. They are all strangers in a strange land. They can't get very far. No? I was once a stranger in a strange land, and I eluded pursuit. Ah, yes, but you were a little different. You had a place to hide. They had no place to go. They will be found before anyone else. I hope you are right. If only I could be sure of that. You want me to go and look for them? No doubt you do. But I have not the time. I am sailing with the fleet when they leave Havana. But that is not for five days yet. You could spend that time in searching. You will help me and find them we will. so fast. I am tired. We can't stop now. We have succeeded in getting out of the city, across the plains, into these low hills. Oh, Antoinette, we've just got to keep on going. Oh, surely we could find a hiding place among these shrubs and trees. Hero will tell us when it's time to stop, and Hero, oh, you've been so quiet. Is Jeffrey too heavy for you? I'm mighty worried man, Miss Kitty, about Master Jeffrey. Why, what's wrong? He'd be lying so quiet and so still in my arms. We have to find a hiding place mighty quick. Why? Master Jeffrey's mighty sick man. It has all been too much for him. I fear that he's gone and got that dreaded fever again. Fleeing from pursuit with a sick man in their hands, what chance have they of escaping? Listen to the next exciting episode of Afloat with Henry Morgan. Henry Morgan.